All right, all right. Let's get into this. Let's talk about 6 9 in this whole sort of situation. Uh, a lot of people don't know the real truth about him. So let me get into that. So everybody has been hearing about how he's been snitching on everyone, you know, uh, and that he's going to get probably no jail time. Uh, I mean, like no prison sentence versus all the people he's snitching on are getting crazy sentences um, and or being investigated. Uh, but he would have like before snitching, he would have gotten life in prison or something real, real, real long, like 50 years or something. Uh, but so my theory, which I think is the truth, is that this is all a setup. Um, and let me explain why. So First of all, look about look at how he suddenly blew up and how many connections he like had uh, fairly quickly in order to like blow up. Uh, so like he did get famous from that track Gunmo, um, and he was making a lot of music like before then, like at, using the name Takashi, um, but. I think there was a point in time where he, uh, where where he was able to get all those connections suddenly, but I don't believe it was connections through someone he met or anything, anything like that. I think it was through the feds, like meaning the government, uh, somehow wanted. Uh, like came across him and decided he would be the perfect match uh, for this whole um, this whole sketchy situation that they're trying to do. Uh, so I believe that the government set this all up. Uh, and the reason why is like because they're doing all sorts of different um, strategies, catching uh, criminals, drug dealers, uh, deep web people, you know, all, all that stuff. Uh, but they're like, why not take advantage of placing a rapper, uh, and in uh, and in doing that, they could catch uh, several different criminals around the New York area and potentially further uh, in the hip hop community. Um, not only people that happen to be producers or rappers or whatever, but people that are associated with them uh, in the management team or just simply friends uh, or whatever, uh, or associates. Um, but uh, the reason why I have that theory is because, or there's multiple reasons, I'll explain why, uh, is one, he seems very, very flamboyant in a lot of ways, uh, and like in the sense that it, it, he was very, they made it so he could be, have a very exaggerated image and also, uh, regarding all the sort of antics and like crazy stuff that he would do, uh, or be involved in, uh, would constantly get him in the media. I think all that was planned. And I don't think it was a thing where it was planned by Takashi himself. I think there were uh, there were more people behind that, the government, uh, and uh, and like another thing too is like I believe that not only Takashi would make a lot of money from this, uh, not only from the music, but being paid by the government. But the government can make money off of him uh, through his music, uh, and on top of it, uh, they're gonna be able to. Uh, catch all these criminals um so i think this whole situation where he's quote-unquote snitching on all of them i think this was all set up so he was going to do that in the end uh and on top of it i think what probably happened is uh he or i'm not exactly sure what his true intent is as a as an individual, but potentially 
what it could be is that maybe his true feelings why he wants to continue music after because now that he's done all the work that he was required to do maybe he did enjoy that music life and wants to continue that uh and uh doesn't want any protection from the government uh because at this point he just wants to live his own life free uh but he doesn't realize how dangerous it can be for him um, and the government obviously doesn't want anyone to know that he is that this was all set up by them. Uh, and another thing too is um, what the hell was I gonna say? It was something about that whole snitching situation in the court. Uh, oh yeah, so I I believe like. That's also an obvious reason why he's going to get no sentence. But they were obviously at first going to make it seem like, oh, he's going to get like a horrible sentence, blah, 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 life in prison, blah, blah. Oh, but no, he's snitching, so he's going to get a lot less sentence. Oh, no, now it's no sentence, blah, blah, blah. Also, another thing, too, is if he was... um, uh, if he If he was like in a normal jail right now, then he would be uh he would have been like killed beat up real bad or any of that crazy stuff uh but but like yeah that didn't that didn't happen uh because he's probably not in a real like jail or uh like i, I think i think they're like protecting him the government one way or another um and uh, yeah, so long story short, I believe he was placed by the government to do all this stuff. I'm not sure what exactly was done by him as an individual without the government behind him or not, but I'm assuming when he was Takashi back in the day, uh, he was himself as an individual. Um, but I believe at some point uh, the government stepped in uh, and off gave him this offer, uh, and he took it because it was a lot of money and maybe other reasons, but yeah, so that's my theory. I think, uh, I, a lot of people are going to disagree, but the thing is, is there's a lot of plot holes in this situation. Like, as I said, like him somehow getting zero, uh, jail time, uh, him, uh, like paying himself to get involved, uh, having tons of money and like just having all these connections and like blowing up suddenly. Uh, I think the government provide him, pro provided him a lot of money and connections in getting in the in industry, the music industry. Uh, and also uh, regarding him uh, being held in jail now, like uh, I, I, I think uh, there's sketchy stuff about that, how he's like been safe and like been able to get his word out of, uh, about like, I don't know, updates and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, so that's that. Uh, this is all a setup by the government. And thank you for listening and check out my other stuff, my other insightful cringe lit stuff. Right. All right. Uh, bye bye.